M Dog Gaming. Welcome. This is M Dog Hearthstone Arena Warrior. <laughs> I think we're going to do Warrior, and we're going to try to get back to the basics here. One thing I've noticed in the last few um, arena runs, you know, and I had this streak of three nine wins in a row. Two of them were Shaman, which I'd really love to do Shaman again, uh, but I haven't had that choice in, in since then. Um, and then one of them was a Warlock. But since then, uh, I've been kind of going five to seven wins, <clears throat> and I think I've been making my decks a little on the pricey side, so Warrior is a good refresher here to get back to. Let's just take, obviously, the best cards available, but I'm going to try to skew a little cheaper. Hopefully, two, three, fours will be where the bulk of the cards are, and um, just a couple of, of bigger fellas at the end. All right, so this is definitely between Defender and Twilight Drake in keeping with the cheaper mindset, and plus I think they're both better cards than Sunwalker. And we're going to go Defender of Argus, <clears throat> less dependent on circumstances. Twilight Drake, we've got to have a lot of cards in our deck. Uh, so Corcoran Elite is a must-pick here compared to the other two. Pretty easy choice. All right, and we'll definitely go Bloodfin Raptor. Very uh, average... Because there's no battle cry, some of these three twos have a battle cry, so they make them better than the raptor. But it's still a three two, and if you can get it out early, it's it's a good deal. So we're gonna get a Rathy Weaponsmith. The loot hoarder would be nice for drawing a card. Boulder Fist Ogre is a good six drop, uh, but this is a below average four minion that comes with a two two weapon. So the weapon pushes it over the edge there. Uh, we could get another one. We could also get Whirlwind. I actually don't like Whirlwind that much, and um, having weapons all the time is great. Must pick here, Warsong Commander. Playing it with something else starting turn 5 is ideal, unless you can play it to an open board and feel pretty comfortable it's going to survive. Um, we'll probably get Armorsmith here. Uh, I don't... I don't really love either of these other choices, so Armorsmith is not a card I seek out, but in this case, I'll take it. Um, sea Giant over Mountain Giant, Molten Giant, Sea Giant, it's close, but we're going to go Sea Giant because you can get those early Sea Giants out sometimes if someone is being over-aggressive. As much as I like the Shield Master in this kind of uh, Warrior deck, we already have lots of 4s, and you just can't pass on a Fiery War Axe. All right, this will be our first six drop. I do like Injured Blade Master. Wild Pyromancer is a good two, but to me, Argent Commander is almost an auto pick, even when we are trying to go a little cheaper here. And we will get Cleave, I think. I like the card draw, but we're getting a little heavy on fours already, so we're gonna go Cleave. Magma Rager, blah, unless you're playing it with uh, your Warsong Commander, then at least you get that five damage out there. All right, we'll get Scarlet Crusader. Awesome three drop. Be nice to have a silence, but can't pass on a Scarlet Crusader when those are the choices. And as much as I like Cruel Taskmaster, I think Venture Commotionary is too good. If you get him out early, that is a game changer. Second Defender of Argus or Sun Fury Protector. I think we'll go Sun Fury. Alrighty, now we'll get Master Swordsmith or Mind Control Tech. Let's get Master Swordsmith. And definitely Silver Moon Guardian here. Other two are garbage. Arcanite Reaper, even though I like Harvest Golem a lot. Can't pass the Reaper here. Alright, now this is interesting. This is all about removal here. Execute removes anything that's damaged. Inner Rage. You can buff your own minion so there's some flexibility, or you can use it to uh, remove something that's two. Heroic Strike, give your hero plus four attack this turn. That means if we do it on top of Arcanite for seven mana, we have a nine attack weapon swing. But I like to have an Execute. I think an Execute is good. Murloc Tidehunter, neither of these are good enough to pass on a somewhat okay two drop. And Mortal Strike for really good removal. Lots of fours, but that's okay. We'll pick up the ooze over a second mercenary. And we are in need of some threes, but we will take Gerbashi Berserker, given the choices here. And 
shield block for armor and drawing a card. Another fiery or war axe for sure. Not that good of a three. And we'll take the grizzly. We do need a three, so that's good. Now this is interesting. This is interesting. I think I will get a second mercenary now. In terms of big hitting minions, it's really between Sea Giant and Mercenary. Argent Crusader is some good removal, but it doesn't hit that big, so we'll take a second Mercenary. A second Corcoran Elite. And three choices left. Another Fiery War Axe, yes please. And I think we have enough fives now. One weapon and three minions. We'll take the Jungle Panther. Now we've got one choice left, and given the options, Kodo is gonna be the winner here. Okay, so I did my best to get back to some of the basics. My early success in Arena came from having lots of inexpensive minions so that there's always plays available. I've been getting away from that and having a much more even spread in some of my Arena runs. Let's see if we can, with the things we've learned in playing Arena, See if we can have some success here with a much uh, cheaper range of mana curve. <clears throat> Alright, so a quick review here. Three Fiery War Axes. We're looking at weapons first. Two Arathi Weaponsmiths. And one Arcanite Reaper. That's six weapons. With that many weapons, unless the cards just really come out in an awkward fashion, we should have a weapon equipped at least 50% of the game. That should equi equate to very positive trading. Uh, we'll be probably in some matches hurting ourselves way more than getting hurt by the opponent, but um, that should mean that we have control of the board and can do some pretty quick nasty damage. We're a little light on removal. We've got Execute, although the weapons count as removal. Um, we do have one Mortal Strike as well. We've got a Sea Giant. If there's a buildup on the board, Sea Giant comes out and seals the deal. And of course, it's buildup on their end. Then Sea Giant comes out and tries to help us get the match back in our favor. Um, the thing that we're weakest on is card draw. So. The initial concern I would have about this deck is it is a little cheaper deck. We could get cards that are easily played, sometimes two, three cards a turn, even in mid-game, and we could literally be top decking by turn seven or eight. So that would be the biggest concern. The only thing we really have to draw cards is shield block. So um, that will make it a little stressful at times, but I still think we'll have some success with this deck. <clears throat> Gerash versus Gul'dan! Your soul shall be mine! Victory or death! So we have a 2, 3, 5. I actually really like the 2 and 3 here, and the 5 isn't bad either. On turn 5, it's very possible that he could have a minion out that has 2 or less attack. So we'll just roll with this and hope we add to our choices with what we de uh, top deck. So now we have a 2, 3, 4, 5. Huh. Greetings. No weapons, but... Um, Pretty solid choices. I you. And now we have a two, three, four, five, six. Bring me steel. This is not my favorite play here. Uh, if, if he has removal, he probably will try to get this off the board. All he needs to do is attack and mortal coil it, for example. But I think playing it now is better than not playing anything. We'll see if I'm correct though. Okay, he's coining up to something, three mana. I will enjoy watching you die. He's got a taunt up there. So we'll 
just sit tight and uh, see what he does on his turn. We have an early build up here. I would assume he will hit this. We could really use a weapon. Okay. Well. Unfortunately, I think I would rather sacrifice this and then... What now? It's time. And then go to his face. I know that turn five, one of these is going to be gone to the Kodo. And if he trades up here and takes two out, okay, so now he'll just trade this. Now one of them will be gone with the Kodo. He got some early damage on us. Um, but not too bad. And now the ball's in his court here. Argent Commander or Cochran Elite incoming next turn. He'll probably just attack to the face here. So we could play Armor Smith and then Elite here. And that would leave it with two health and we gain armor. And then we could just go ahead and trade there. I think that's the play I like. Armor made to fit. For the war chief! For house green! And we still have not gotten a weapon out of our deck, which is really amazing. I don't know what he's playing, but we have more charge coming here. And we'll go ahead and take that out with the Divine Shield. He has card advantage. We have pretty clear board advantage. If he plays something weak here, then the fear would be that he's saving up to go Twisting Nether next turn. That is not a weak play, so I'd say that's probably not the case. Wow. Strike. That would be 8, 11, 15, 19 damage. But we gotta take out that first, so it's not, but we'll do this. Get some good damage in. And hope that he can't handle everything that's on the board before we finish the match, because we are certainly running out of cards here. The nether, uh, is it twisting nether? I don't know what it's called, but the card that re removes all minions is an eight mana cost so we're good for one more turn here he's already used his coin he's gonna if he has it okay never mind the one play he could have played if he had well he didn't have enough mana so that's not an issue Still way too much damage. Alright, good opening game. GG Darkonium. Cards came through for us there in the first one. Uh, Warlock have an ability, costs 4 mana, and it destroys a friendly minion and does its damage to all enemy minions. 
if he would have used that on the 6-6, six, six, then that would have cleared our side of the board and uh, would have made it interesting for sure. We have yet to see a weapon. <laughs> yet to see a weapon. Is someone injured? We don't really have a card to play against that. Yes, we do. What do you know? The top deck to fiery war axe. We're probably looking at the Tide Hunter next turn, but we'll see what he plays. Coining up to something for three mana. Alright, so if we War Axe it, it's going to be a 2 1. So I would rather have this out here. He put something out there, basically he at least knew that he would have a minion left <clears throat> after we used our War Axe. Turn 4, we can buff this. By buffing this, it makes it strong enough to defeat that. Or we could go Tide Hunter and armor up, but I think this is the play. It'll be a 3-4, so it won't die. It'll just take out his. Obviously, if he doesn't have a removal spell here, Shadow Word Pain or something, he'll just attack here and take out our taunt. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me! We don't have a way to remove it, so we just gotta hope for the best on his ability to buff this up. Six mana. We could uh, play this, but I think actually the Murloc here makes more sense. And if we're going to trade, no. um, this would leave us two health. Get a trade there. This would leave us four health. Um, or. Just go to the face and let him figure out the rest. Playing a dangerous game here with this priest because we're leaving a lot on the board for him to buff up. But I don't really like I didn't really like any of the trades. Uh, if he's gonna buff something up, he would have but he could have buffed it up because we couldn't have taken everything out. Alright, so he's going straight damage now. The aggressive trading there. Kodo doesn't take out anything right now. Divine Shield eats up a hero ability, two mana most likely. What now? If we put this down, he can take it out. And it is before mind control. Let's just 
just do that. In before mind control. Unless he still has the coin, and then game over. I don't remember. I don't think we had the coin. I think he did. I think I remember him playing it pretty early on, though. Let's hope I'm right on that. I wonder. Do you call that a weapon? Uh, pretty good play. We got some cards out of him, but that was a good play. wonder if he's going to try to heal himself here. He just put the cleric out. That would be kind of funny. But we're not going to give him the opportunity to. Uh... And it'll have four attack. Yeah, sure, why not? It's out of shadow word pain range now. Well, this priest has had an answer for everything. Um, three, seven, nine. And that would be... That doesn't really trade with anything. We could take out just this guy. Charge forward! Silvermoon shall I not fade. Remember, kill for lust! Strike! How did I add that incorrectly? I don't know, but I did. That was bad math right there. Must have been looking at the mana cost. I thought I was doing 4 plus 1 there. I was doing 3 plus 1. Huh. My bad. Join or die or both. He's got card advantage and board advantage now. He's a bit of a slow player, but he's definitely winning. Alright, let's see. Let's do this first. Hmm. Hard advantage. Wow. Truth is my shield. X marks the spot. He was holding back a leper gnome this whole time. This priest, I tell you what. All right, let's see what we hit here. Not what we wanted to hit. And we don't want to execute that, I'll tell you that. This is going to be a loss. But we're not going to go down executing a pirate. I think that cleave had to hit this card. Not that we would have won anyway. It's game over. It's been game over for a while, but. I think the cleave had to hit this for us to have a chance. Yep. Four, six, ten, fourteen. It is game over. Oh, 
Card draw wasn't the only thing that killed us there. Um, we got outplayed and he just had answers for everything. But card draw was a part of it. He had uh, access to more cards than, than we did and, and that equals winning. More often than not, having access to more of your cards than your opponent has access to their cards is one of the keys to victory. I don't really want to play a bunch of priests with this deck. I think priests are going to be better than most at um, at kind of counteracting our aggression. And if they're able to, we won't be able to hang in there long term. Now that last priest did have pretty good cards and card draw Greetings. but even still I think any priest if they kinda know what they're doing Bring me steel. is gonna have a pretty good chance against this kind of warrior deck in particular I do like seeing this Arcanite Reaper out early though gotta keep our fire going Shields up! It's time! So we have four damage removal is the only option for next turn right now as it stands. See what we top deck, but... This is a little bit of a puny target for Mortal Strike, but... He's trying to attack my stealth target, my stealth unit. Alright, I'd say that's better. Um It's time. <laughs> I don't know. This is terrible, but I just want to see how high we can get it. We have Kodo coming next turn and it's going to destroy one of these. Um I mean, this is a priest. You don't leave cards out on the table for against a priest and we saw that last match, but I just can't help myself. This Jungle Panther is now up to 6 attack. It's a 6-2 for 3 mana. And it's in stealth. Could just, just sit around, do nothing the whole game. What are you healing? What are you doing? Alright. You can't attack stealth, buddy. As much as I'd love to get the Reaper out right now, I think we can't pass up the free... Kapui. Um, and I actually would rather take out that it's time. and uh, okay we'll get it out I, I mean I I don't want to keep holding it something will happen to it and then we'll be really regretting it Hopefully he doesn't have the little fella that takes over one of your minions if you've played more than three minions. If you have more than three minions on your table. On your side. Pretty nice Nova. Although, I'm surprised he didn't take care of our swordsmith there. It's a little odd, I'd say. Um... Um, 
made to fit. Silvermoon shall not work. It's time. I refuse to kill my dude until I until he kills it. I'm just getting attack bonus attack out of him, so. He's already got huge card advantage. If he's got more Holy Novas, we're in trouble. How is he going to finally read what this car does? <laughs> That's too bad. I thought he was going to let me have it for another turn. He's going to really appreciate that. Alright, so... I actually like the Reaper here more, I think. Now, if we went Fiery War Axe, we go 3 and trade 3, and then we'll have 4, 5. We'll keep this alive. Yeah, I guess that's fine. I guess that's acceptable. If we get him down to 10, we know we can kill him with the Reaper. Two turns. If he doesn't have Taunt, we can get him down to 10 this turn. I mean... Then get him down to 6 this turn if he doesn't have Taunt. Thought steal. Ooh. The cards that people pick. He just took a war axe. He just stole a war axe from me. Alright, buddy. You take that damage. Give me that armor. You give me that armor, buddy. Just keep it rolling, buddy. Keep it rolling. Thought steel into war axe. Unbelievable. Problem is, I mean, that cost you six mana to get that thing up still game over buddy well played still game over buddy strike thing I don't like about that thought steal is you can get a really junky card so random and then I don't know what he was doing with that deck in the first place but whatever synergy you're going for as a priest to spending six mana to get out a fiery war axe does that really make sense with what you're doing I mean I don't know that's that's why I'm just I'm not crazy about those Are all the priests occupied? Is that what happened? Okay, now hold on here. Two, three, four, five. I was about to send some things back, but that's just begging for trouble if you start sending a two, three, four, five back. I don't really like coining up on the first turn. If I have two twos, then I will, but...
I'd rather not, though. Ugh. Mind if I roll me? Cleave. Cleave, coin up to get Raptor out. Next turn, we've got Fiery War Axe, probably armor up. It works out just perfect with what he puts down. We'll Mortal, mortal Strike, but most likely we'll go Fiery War Axe next turn. <laughs> it's time for a yep. blood. Mind if I roll me? Yep, Fiery War Axe. We use the axe this turn. We'll play Weaponsmith. Unless um, Scarlet Crusader armor up just looks perfect. Or I guess unless Mortal, Sti Mortal Strike just works out perfectly. Four health minion will Mortal Strike it. Almost guaranteed. War Axe. We just drew another War Axe. You know what? I think I like Crusade here. And I always like equipping a weapon even when it's attached to the Weaponsmith. Ideally, I want to equip that sucker when I'm going to use it for the first time. You never know when he just top decked an ooze. Um. Yikes! It's kind of pricey. It's kind of a pricey ooze there. All right. Try this. And we're getting him down into Reaper range now. And we'll use this battle axe as quick as we can so that we can uh, move on to the bigger weapons. Isn't it tempting though, just to upgrade, boom? That'd be silly though, wouldn't it? We could get this out, attack to the face. One of these is gonna be a four attack. And we'd still have five mana. What now? Four, five, six, seven. Bring me steel! Alright, we're one attack away from Reaper being lethal in two turns. Ready to ride. Let the pain speak to me. Bring me steel. I'd rather take this out. But Kodo's gonna take one of them out. Warax might take the other one out. It's gonna be game over soon, I do believe. I don't think it should uh, quite do it like that. 
I mean, I don't know how the game could do this, but if somebody concedes while you're in the middle of attacking, it's not like we were wasting time there. I think it should let the animation of the attack finish and not give them, oh, I give up right before you hit me kind of thing. So, I don't know. Anyway, not a big deal. Against a hunter, I don't want to get stuck without a two drop. Because a lot of their beasts are two drops, and if they start building up, you shall not. It's kind of hoping we would get a war axe, but at least we got a two drop here. Shields up. And by the time we get to turn four, this two two weapon might really come in handy. future old I got this Oh hunter secrets Worked out pretty good for us. See if he has multi shot. Oh wow, a secret arena deck. <laughs> Probably gonna kill them both. I got this. Removal incoming if he has it. A lot of damage to start taking. Does dingo. Yes. Okay. It's kinda like removal. Wow. Cards though. I think this is actually a safe time to put Warsong Commander out. No, it's not. Multi-shot kills them both. Multi-shot would have killed them both. And you know what? Charge is not important right now because if we go Corcoran Elite next turn, it has charge already. Truth is my shield.
No way around it, is there? Turn 8, Commander Bear is really interesting because we have Taunt to hide this behind while we get reinforcements and the bear can go and attack if it doesn't kill it. Now that changes things a little bit. I think I still like that. If he doesn't have a way to remove this with a spell, he's got to attack this, which leaves it open to Argent Commander. <laughs> Too bad. Still has five mana though. He could remove this, he's in shape. I mean, he's in a good place, but as it is, we can Argent Commander this if he attacks this and then trade here and this stays alive. Actually, we can Silver Moon Guardian it. I only have two health left. It just doesn't look like he has a play that he's comfortable with. I don't know why he was holding back on that. That's a great play. I don't know why that took so long to figure out. You gotta take out the Warsaw Commander. That's gotta be your first priority. Alright, six, seven, eight. It's eight mana. If he has removal, we're about tied in health, and card advantage is even. There is no advantage. If he has saved a multi-shot this whole... Whoa, Nelly. That's a good weapon. I don't think I've ever drawn that in Arena. I don't play War uh, Hunter enough to have a good chance of drawing it, but I just haven't drawn it. The nice thing about this is it only has two durability, but you don't take the damage back. That's what's nice about it. All right, so we'll just charge on in there. For the war chief. For Well played. Well played. That should be it. Unless he's got that one shot or one shot hunter <clears throat> thing going. Game over.
All right. We're definitely getting low on cards every time, but overall, this deck has done well. We're kind of getting up to four or five wins. The quality of your opponents definitely, ch you see a difference in uh, plays that are made and quality of the cards that they have drafted. So I don't know how much further this deck goes, but uh, I think it's got some potential. phone plugged in here do another Apple iTunes update Garrosh versus Anduin The light shall bring victory Victory or death Okay, what do we have? We'll keep the 3. That is not a good opening to well. Nah. Let's see if we can do a little better. Who are we playing? Oh, a priest. This is the third priest we faced. I thought I said I didn't want to face priests. You shall not pass. This is this the same? No, I don't think we played fool before. <laughs> Greetings. Greetings. Is someone injured? <clears throat> this will be our... My goodness! I, I mean, I hate to say this because of your, your name, but... And maybe I'm wrong about all these cards, but... These priests that are taking all these cards that have so much random, I just like to be a little bit more in control over what's going on. All right, let's um, let's clear this. He equips an Arcanite Reaper right now. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Value. He got my sea giant. Unbelievable. I don't even know what to say right now.
We'll try that out. If he has mind control, then he'll get another. Did he just get Sea Giant again? Trying to bait me into putting this out, isn't he? What I feel like he now? is. All right. So how are we gonna do this, folks? Trade, trade, trade. I wonder. Well, if he got another one, I'm made to fit. then um, you just go with your random nonsense. Wait a minute. That wasn't what I was supposed to do. Can't believe I just mistraded. I left the wrong one alive. This card right here. And I'm, if he pulls a mind control from over here, I'm really worried. Ah, got shield blocked the second time. Oh, mercy. top deck. Oh. Well, how about that? Victory! 
Oh, you should have healed him up. That would have been much funnier. My seal for Argus! Oh, because of this guy. I'm like, what the heck? What the heck is going on? We outlasted the fool. GG. GG, fool. That'd have been a much quicker game if he hadn't gotten the. <laughs> oh, taking my sea giant. Right after that last match, when we were, I was trying to start this next one, it just disconnected us, but. Thankfully, it didn't give us a, a loss for it. Hopefully, things are going to run smoothly and we can get another match in. Gerash versus Thrall! For Doomhammer, victory or death! It's hard to complain with those cards for starting out. does have a weapon that he could have gotten so we'll hold on to the ooze at least for a little bit guess we'll hold on to it till now Weapons for days, weapons for days. Try 
That was a well-timed Fort Lightning. Look at these things. maybe this Kodo is about to get some value I can feel it uh, it might not get the value I want it to though interesting There's a lot of overload and a lot of spells yeah I think we'll save We'll save the Kodo for one more turn. are trading back and forth. Look at all these fire elementals. I said this in my last shaman video. What is probably the most overpowered um, class minion, in my opinion, in the game. Alright, three, two each. That doesn't do it. It's gonna be game over. That is game over. Three. You don't have to do much. Those fire elementals are so OP. 6 5 for 6 is already decent, and you do 3 damage on coming into the battlefield. I think you just gotta hit me to the face here, buddy. We right, must it's game over. The sun well. See, three puts me down to three, then I go back up to five. It's time. Hmm. <clears throat> Taunt's the only thing keeping us alive right now. Okay, I'll just hit it here. Let's see what kind of spell damage he has. Yes, me and Mr. Bite. That's too much to recover from. Plus he's drawing cards, so... To have a chance, we'd have to attack that first, and if we attack that first, uh, it's uh, game over. Yes, we take this out. He's doing three damage just with what we see. Why 
it you're not. Unless you can do seven damage. Or five. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's game. Over. We don't quite have a card that deals with all that, do we? Oh, that's fun. Oh, that's a fun one. Let's see. Hit that. We'll have five armor. Five life. What now? Seven. Take that out. We have one. Take that out. We have five. That's game over either way. Game over either way. Strike. Well played. Seven. Eight. There's no way to make that add up to. Oh, mercy. That was very close. Very close trading back and forth and. Oh, cool. Golden Warsong Commander, I like that. She is charging in. Ever since I started keeping track of stats, got an Excel document, I talked about it in another video so I won't rehash it, but ever since I started keeping stats, my arena performances have gotten poorer and poorer. I don't know what that says. Just hit a rough patch, I guess. Two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Let's try to get a little bit better here. Alright, that's a little better. Probably coin into the ooze to be honest. And we have some options. <laughs> Unless he puts one of those clerics down and then we'll coin into the fiery war axe. Carino the priest. Crusader incoming. What does the future hold? He knows what we're going to do to that. So, out of all his cards, that's the one he wanted us to axe the most. What does that tell me? It tells me he's got pretty good cards because that's not a bad three. Thrall more Farseer. It's a little average, but it's not terrible. It's a 2-3 with Wind Fury. Ew, goodness. I would have much rather sacrifice that, to be honest. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know that there's anything, any reason to taunt anything right now. Um, so I'm thinking... Armorsmith Murloc here. <clears throat> and normally I would trade the Divine Shield for it, but because I've put some minions on the board here, and I don't know about Holy Nova and all that, I at least want to protect this with the shield, so we're going to keep the shield up. Next turn we might come back with Venture Co. and really put some pressure on this Priest early. Of course the other option is if a 2-2 weapon helps us, we'll go Weaponsmith, and if we really want to have Taunt to protect these two or something, we can always boost these up and Taunt them. Okay. I think this makes the most sense. Yeah, yeah, you've be it's early enough where we've got some time before we have to worry about uh, mind control. We still have a divine shield on this one. 
Next turn, neither of these are going to be available because of the minion cost. Ooh, got a shadow word death out of him. How exciting is that? Well, we might just boost both these up just to get higher attack rating. My seal for Argon. Strike. Join or die. We just need to get him a little, little lower and then our weapons will finish the job even if he gets back control of the board. Good gravy. He's got charge. Let's see. Six, four. Okay, we can't do both of those. <clears throat> so four gets it down to four, and then four. Okay. Join or die. <laughs> Into the breach! Shield up! Strike! Your magic shall not save you. My old roommate. He's probably pretty good at this game. Versus <coughs> Jaina. You asked for it. Victory or death. Huh. Got some warrior cards. Mamma mia. Huh. Greedy. These cards are pretty much identical against the mage if they use their hero ability to take the divine shield off. Um, I guess we could pair this with another two or three later on. We'll go divine shield. Right? We already have a fiery war axe, but we'll wait one more turn before we swing again. If, if there's nothing to swing at, we'll just hit to the face this time. To the yeah, that's a pretty good play. We'll have to take it right out. Hello. Greetings. Try this. Silver Moon shall not fall. Green. 
love to have something come up that this Kodo will get some value against. Yeah, that's not it. Gotta be something that has two attack or less. I think this mage has probably got us. Held us off long enough and now has such drastic card advantage. Divine shields aren't nearly as fun against mages as they are everybody else, but... Mage secret. Someday I'll be just like you. Cheap spells. Alright, well, let's see if it's copy. Yep. That sucker's got five health. Four. Kill it, kill it. Victory, old Jack! Victory, old Jack! I got this. Four, seven. Bring me steel. Victory. <laughs> oh, we have to get lucky here. Gonna have to get lucky. That wasn't lucky. Behold the might of storm wind. That was unlucky. We needed to be lucky, not unlucky. <clears throat> Let's see. Four. But she's coming back with way too much damage, so. Unfortunately. We actually have to do this. 610. Still gonna be game over, but we have to do that. Yeah, we just needed a little bit of luck, and she got the luck with the Kodo, with the uh, legendary she had. 
I think if we had a legendary in this deck, well, I mean, it'd be just as strong, if not a little stronger, but. Alright, there you go. Decent warrior run. Well played. Not the best warrior run we've had, but pretty good. And I think it's just a good reminder to me. And I think especially if you're new with uh, arenas, getting into arenas. You can get a lot of good work done, not by taking all the big beefy minions, but really being strict on taking a lot of two threes and fours you may not get to nine wins um, with a lot of frequency I know in the beginning especially I didn't it took a while to get to that place where I was getting nine um, you know every few days or so but you can have some success. You can certainly get between five and a seven or whatever, as long as you, especially with things like warrior and paladin. I mean, you can play aggressive uh, mage. You can play aggressive with mage, warlock, and just get some of the cheaper minions so you always have plays. And if on top of that, if you can build in card draw, I mean, that's what we were missing in this deck, um, and it was pretty critical. We had limited choices in those games that we lost as it came down to. Um, just not having any card draw to keep up with some of our opponents but it's a good way to have some early success and, and have a little more fun in arena than just going in there and going you know one and three several times or whatever just trying to get your feet wet so take it or leave it that's my little advice on uh, for new players getting started in arena Might, might, might not deal, build the most dominant decks doing it that way, but you can certainly get a lot of work done just from the early aggression you put out. Golden Jungle Panther is pretty cool. And to close this video out, let's just see if anything interesting came out of this pack. Whoa-oh. Looks and sounds like a legendary. It's a good one, but honestly, I can't remember if I already had that one or not. I must have. I already had that one. Uh, what am I looking for? I have two Prophet Velens. Out of all the legendaries we could have gotten. Alright, but 420 dust isn't bad. If you're wondering what happened to all my dust... I'll show you. There's the Golden Panther. I'll show you what happened to my dust. And let me just say, uh, I've probably crafted three or four cards total since I started playing Hearthstone, so not many. And uh, what I'm about to show you, I just want to preface it by saying, do as I say and not as I do. Yes, I crafted a 3200 dust Golden Ragnaros. Um... Is it smart? No. Is it a waste of dust? Yes. Do I love the way it looks? Absolutely. So that's what I did. Alright, thanks for watching as always. And M-Dog is out. Bye bye, Nods.